thank you for coming out to help the group, which is God's group. God's Amen. the leader of this group, and he's doing some awesome and wonderful work. With our Amen. Group. And so God gives the praise and the glory for everything that you're doing. Thank you for allowing us to wake up and just to get up and make the decision to do this work. Not that many people want to do it. It's hot out there. It might get cold. Not many people want to doubt when it's cold. But what God's with us, he covers us and keeps us safe. Amen. And, you know, in our prayers, we pray for each other. We keep each other going. I notice a lot of our group get sick, we get hurt, or whatever, but God always restores us each and every time. And many times I've been attacked, and, and just doing the box alone, getting things what we're doing, being attacked so much, and me and my wife and our family just keep on praying, God just overcomes each time. And I'm telling you, God's wonderful, and He's awesome. Don't ever give up. Keep it going. Keep it going. All you got to do is have faith. Amen. In John chapter uh, 1, and my mind was on page 7 and 8, but I'm going to focus on 7, but I'll read the whole thing. It says, This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. He was not the light, verse 8, he was not the light, but was sent to bear witness of the light. Of course, we know who is the light. Who is the light? Anybody can say? Jesus. Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the light that's in us also. Okay. And my, my, my heading was saying this. It says, let his light shine in you. Okay? And my, the rest of it, I don't want to write this much. But it says, uh, let, the, let the light shine in you that many should be saved. Okay? That many should be saved. Uh, let's go to Psalms 27. Psalms 27, 1. Psalms 27.1 says this on my Bible. This is the New King James Bible. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Whom, of, of whom shall I be afraid? So once again, God's in us. He's the light that's in us. Let's go to the next one. We're going to hear this up. Okay, guys? Um, James chapter 1. James chapter 1, okay? Verse 17. James chapter 1, verse 17 says this. Every good gift and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from the Father of light with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. When you see that, when you think about that, there's no shadow, because what? This is what he's made out of light. You know what I'm saying? If he turns, there's no shadow. He's light. God is the light. Okay? So God is light. All right? And he is the light that's in us also, once again. Let's go to also 2 Corinthians chapter 6 and 6.14, okay? 6.14? Yeah, chapter 6, verse 14. 2 Corinthians. It's going to run through pretty fast, okay, guys? Chapter 6, 2 Corinthians, verse 14 says this. Do not be unequally yoked together with unbelievers, for what fellowship fellowship has a righteousness with lawlessness, and what communion has light with darkness? Once again, seeing the light part again, okay? So God is the light. We should stay with the light. We must, wait. yes, we go on the streets. We preach to the people that are in darkness. But we show God's light through us. And God speaks through us. And he, he, we're the hands and feet of God. We're the body of Christ. But if we go out there, do we hang out with them and do what they do? No, we do not. No, we do not. We encourage. Do we laugh about the other jokes and what they do? The, thing that, the worldly jokes they make? No, we do not. We walk away. Because we want to show them that we're a part of that. We're a part of what we stand for. We stand for God. I men at work that always say some really nasty jokes because that's what they're about. That's their livelihood, their style. You know? And I don't sit there and, and marinate with them. If anything, I, I, I go back and say what not to say. And, and they go, okay. And other than that, little by little, God's using me. And the men there are starting to change because God's working on them. They're working with you in the streets. God's using you, and at the same time, us out in the streets. You understand? Look at 
the next one right here. Let's go ahead and go to Luke 11.34. So Luke 11, 34 says this, it says, the lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body also is full of light. But when your eye is bad, your body also is full of darkness. Once again, not just your eye gate, but your ear gate, everything, you have a gate, your spirit, you have a spirit. And in that, you have to make sure you don't let these things enter you. Cast it out at all times like blood of Jesus. And find those evil spirits. Today we had a uh, lady today, and she had an actual lust spirit. And knowing that because I know already. I can sense it, we can see it even actually. We even gave her clothes and she still went back to her regular drawers. Yeah. At the same time, she's still doing and working in that spirit. So as I passed by her, she tried to try to put eye to eye on me and I went around and curved around and so that once again we see that we have the light of God we want nothing to I, what's the word again what's it called? Uh, you do not want to uh, to darkness? no not, not just that this is one piece of scripture talking about temptation no not the temptation Distraction. because God, you're the God's temple you're God's temple. You don't want anything dirty in you. You want to keep your temple clean at all times. See? So you avoid everything. You go around it. You leave if you have to. You don't need to be about it. You know what I'm saying? You avoid everything you must have to avoid. Amen. Hallelujah. And that's what we do. So, once again, um, <clears throat> let's continue. It says right here, um, Daniel chapter 3, chapter 12, I'm sorry. Daniel chapter 12, let's go there. In this verse 3. 